Glorify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Glorify the Lord with me. Oh, exalt the name of Jesus. Oh, glorify the Lord with me. Oh, exalt the name of Jesus. Oh, glorify the Lord with me. Oh, exalt the name of Jesus. Oh, glorify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Glorify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Glorify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Glorify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Oh, glorify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Glorify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Oh, glorify the Lord with me. As all the name of Jesus, glorify the Lord with me. As all the name of Jesus, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, as all the name of Jesus, magnify the Lord with me. As all the name of Jesus. Glorify the Lord with me, as all the name of Jesus. Glorify the Lord with me, as all the name of Jesus. Why can't you open your mouth this morning and begin to appreciate this God who makes it possible for us to be alive? Open your mouth this morning and begin to glorify this God who seated on the throne that have the final say. Let's begin to thank the Lord because is the word is worthy to be praised. Let's thank Him because He's a faithful and mighty God. Let's thank Him because there is no like Him. Let's thank Him because He's the great God indeed. Let's thank Him because He's Abba Father. Let's thank Him because He's the owner of our soul. Let's thank Him because He's alive. Let's thank Him because He's the one that kept us alive. Let's thank Him because it is by Him we have come together. Let's thank Him this morning because He's worthy. Let's thank Him because He's a faithful God. Let's thank Him because there is no like come to Him. All to him alone we have come. Father, we have come in your presence this morning. Father, to say thank you because you are worthy. To say thank you because there is no like you. To say thank you because you are the immortal God. To say thank you because you are I am that I am. I want to bless you, Father, in glory for your mercy upon our life. Father, it is by your mercy we have not consumed. It is by your kindness we have gathered this morning. Father, what shall we give unto you? All we have to say, thank you, Father, in glory. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for everything you have done for us. Father, we want to bless you for this new week. We want to thank you for what you have decided to do. We want to thank you for what you have been doing. We want to thank you for what you are still doing. We want to thank you for what you will still do again. Oh, Father in glory, your children are saying, All glory be unto you. 
all the glory must be given unto you, Father. Father, we have come to worship you. We have come to glorify your name. We have come to reverence your name. We have come to appreciate you. We have come, my Father, in glory. It is by you, my Father, we have gathered. Oh, Father, in glory, receive all the glory. Receive all the honor. Receive all the creation. Who oh, is like all to thee, Father, unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O Lord, my Father, we have gathered this morning. Unto thee, O Lord, my Father, we have come. Because you are our shepherd, you alone is our shepherd. Father, take on the glory, Father. Take on the honor because you alone that deserve this praise. You alone that deserve honor. You alone that deserve the glory. You alone, my Father, is worthy, my Father. You are worthy, O oh Lord, to be our Father. You are worthy to be our Redeemer. You are worthy to be the El Shaddai. El Shaddai, you are the living God. El Shaddai, you are stronger. You are a strong God. You are a mighty God. Father, you that have the final say. Father, you that have authority. Father, your children are saying, all the glory be unto you. All the honor be unto you. All the praise be unto you, Father, this morning. Because you are faithful, Lord. May your name in you be highly exalted. Father, as we have gathered this morning, Father, we will not live here and remain the same. Father, we have gathered with 1300. Father, you will not leave us and remain the same. Thank you for all you have done, Father. Father, your testimony will remain permanent, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. 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 We are going to thank God for the program, seven days program, the Lord making possible for us without no problem. There is many testimony in the life of people. And Amen. many of you can testify that this program has done me a great thing. Friend, we are going to appreciate this God of heaven for the strength, for the grace, for the enablement. It was not an easy journey, but the Lord give us victory over our enemy. Let us thank God and let us thank God for the program that is still coming tonight in night of praise and worship till dawn, starting by 12 till dawn. Friend, what, how is it going to be? It's going to be great. But some people, when they will be looking, how can I start praising God for more, for 12 o'clock till dawn? How is it going to be possible? But I know that the strength of the Lord is available for us. Friend, this hour, I want us to thank the Lord for what he has done and for what he is still going to do this night. That this night will be a great night. When we worship God tonight, I tell you, nowhere this night, the witches and wizards all over the world will not hold because we are awake to worship this God. We are going to thank the Lord. Let's begin to open our mouth. And begin to bless this God who has given us strength, who has given us the grace, who has given us ability, who has given us the privilege to know Him, who has given us salvation of our soul. Why can't you begin to bless the Lord? Tell the Lord this morning, Father, I thank you because you are a great God. Oh, Father, I want to appreciate you, Father. You are Excellency of Jacob. You are a glorious God. You are the Father that never lies. You are the Father that never change. You are the Father that never fail. You are the Father that knows the secret of every woman being. Father, here we are this morning. Father, I want to thank you, Father, for how you empower us, Father, to carry out the program of seven days, my Father, in glory, of the strong man must give way in my life. 
Father, I want to thank you, Father, for what you have done. I want to thank you for the life of every member of this group. I want to thank you, Father, in glory for tonight, my Father, for what you have determined to do tonight. Oh, Father, we ask you to take on the glory. Father, tonight my Father shall be great. Tonight shall be greater than the greatest. Tonight, my Father, in glory, in night of praise and worship, Father, you will glorify your name. That at the end of tonight, Father, the heart of your children will rejoice. That your children will rejoice and say, the Lord has done me good. Thank you, Father, in glory. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Almighty Father, we want to appreciate you this morning. We want to give you thanks. Because beside you, there is no father. Father, your children are saying you are worthy. Lord, I wish we have mouth all over our body. Lord, to tell you how much we love you. I wish we have mouth all over our body. Many people Amen. may not see what you have done. But yes, glory Lord. be to God. For those that understand that this program has really do a great thing in their life. Amen. Father, I want to thank you. Yesterday, Amen. your servant told us, Nanti on Friday, testimony will be all over the world. Father, Amen. I want to bless you. Because I believe, I believe, my father, that the testimony has begun and the testimony will begin to flow. Father, all our enemy will come back and begin to apologize. Ah, we did evil. Father, all the wise, after this week, what that person see, the person will bear it. My father in glory. After this week, what that person will see, that person will bear in. Because my father, on that day, Joshua said, Why had that trouble Israel? But as on today, the Lord shall trouble thee. Father, all our enemy, I know, my father, you are not troubling them. You Amen. are not giving revelation, proving that, yes, the Lord has taken away strong man. That all Amen. the things they have ajacked in our life, Lord, a time of recovery. A time of recovery is now. A time Amen. of recovery. All the things that belong to us. Blessed be the Holy Day, Father. For you Amen. alone is worthy, Lord. Lord, Amen. go ahead this morning. Direct us. Speak to us in a language we will understand. My heart desire that we want to close to you, close to you in sanctification, close to you in meekness. Father, as we step out today, my Father, we will not fall into sin. Holy Ghost, go ahead and let your will be done, Father. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. You are all welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, before we, I allow one of our sisters to share her revelation. Um, if yesterday, the last day, you was not on that program, anybody here yesterday you was not on that program? Yes, sir. Okay, if you was not on that program, go back to our YouTube. The message in, is in the WhatsApp group. Don't miss that program of yesterday. After this message that uh, you know that you are free, please go and make sure that uh, you listen to that message proper. It, it is a message uh, that will help you. Because yesterday we have the privilege that our father our, was with us, taking time to pray for every member of this group because of that endeavor to be the uh, to make sure that the the message that prayer you didn't miss it that prayer belongs to you and i endeavor to go and listen to it please praise the lord and uh, if you are here you miss of any program of this week endeavor to go and listen to the messages they are on youtube 
They are valuable for your sake. For your sake. That is why I do. I did everything possible to make sure those videos, they are on YouTube so that you will not tell me you don't have a Facebook. You will not go to, you will not, you will not see the messages. They are on YouTube for your good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please, Hallelujah. our vision today starting by 12 dot, by 12 dot, and then we are not going to take any other program in the evening. Are you, is that okay? Yes. We are not going to take a question and answer today. For the sake of the marathon program we are going to be having the night, at least you have time to do your things on time and go to bed on time so that you can you can wake up before the time no africa time you may enter late and you may find out that the door is closed are you hearing me are you hearing me you may enter late and you will find out that you are trying to enter the door inside they will tell you the master has closed the door and then you will be left outside of prison worship and you will call my phone, nobody will answer. You will send a message, nobody will respond. Because all door is what is closed. <laughs> and I pray that uh, it will not be so to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, I want our sister, sister Anne to share with us what God revealed to her a few days ago. Please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to share the revelation that God showed me about last week when I traveled to UK. Inside the revelation was uh I was just um there were no people around again. I am the sister, the one my immediate sister. We were just running up and down looking for, for people. Then later, there's something that wanted to take me up. I was going up, going up. Later, I came down. I was saying, Evangelist, Evangelist Bartholomew. Evangelist Bartholomew said it to, hey, it means I missed it. It means I missed it. And I said, okay, let's run to the other side. I ran to the other side. I didn't see anybody. Then later, I saw something like a gold coming down from the sky god himself was sitting on it with a trumpet with an angel starting close to to him then later the thing went up again i didn't see it again then later i run i was trying to to hold it i couldn't hold it then later i run when i run the old ground was like kind of scattering then later i said two other things the year 2013, God closed. I said, Jesus, Jesus, it means that I have missed out. It means that I have missed out. I said, Evangel Evangelist said it to us. He has been saying it. He has been saying it. I have money in so, 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 so place. I didn't even give it out. Oh, God, I have missed it. The later I woke up, I was dragging myself. I was dragging myself. I was dragging. I said, God, I miss it. He said, sleep. It means that I'm, going, I'm not going to wake up again. Lord, give me another chance. Give me another chance. Before you know it, to God be the glory, I open my eyes. And I write to Evangelist Bartholomew that look at what I saw. My brothers and sisters, the God we are serving, if we are not serving it well, we should try and hold this God very well. It's coming very, very soon. Because this dream, I have not had it since I was giving birth to. But my eyes was open to see that this God we are serving here eh, is real. We should hold it close. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My beloved brothers and sisters, I want to thank God for her life. Uh, it's because of the mercy of God. That is the reason why god reveal it to her you know some people think that is only holy people 
that will be seeing such kind of a revelation. No, not only holy people, not even the sinners alone. God can reveal himself to anybody because he loves the person. God will reveal it to you so that you will know you will have a proper information so that tomorrow you will not say, Ah, Lord, I was not told and I was told I was thinking is a joking matter. When the sister cried, she was crying, crying on that day, on that day, crying. I said, sister, yes, this is how it's going to be. Friend, many of you are here. We are talking of, let's take the program to another level. Many of you are not ready to take the program to another level. You could hear her. That she was say inside the revelation evangelist, but Lumi said it before. And often and often I continue to tell you, friend, I wake up since many hours ago. Um, as I wake up, I begin to I begin to look into my life and look into the Bible, taking the time to study and to prepare the message. But I come to understand concerning the message that was given to me for us to teach today. And the message is a message that says, Rejoice because your name are written in, the, in, in heaven. Amen. But many of us, our names are not written in heaven. Many of us. Our sister said that she have things. But she didn't use it to serve God. How can such a person her name be written in the book of life? It's not possible. The only people that their name is going to be written in the book of life, the people God bless, and they didn't use it for their own selfish interest. God didn't bless you for your own selfish interest. We are talking about to finish that building not my building, not your building, a building where we are going to raise children, help the people to reach heaven. But many of us have this money in account. But you allow me to be strong in myself, strong going to make sure that uh, the project be executed while you are out there having the privilege to invest your life into the building for souls of mankind to be saved. How can such person, how can such person name be in the book of life? How much do we need to finish that building now that it has become another heavy title? 15,000 euro a loan. We can't tell me that two, two, three, four person cannot finish that building. Not to talk of the things we need. Friend, a day is coming. Do you know how our, as our sister had that revelation? That is how it's going to be. All these pastors you are seeing that have turned away and they are not after material things. That is how it's going to be. I will show you a message this morning. Friend, I tell you, God is my witness. I, the only hope I have on this earth, this hope of eternal life. You have, have the silver and have the gold. It does not move me. I tell you the truth. If you like, have billions. It does not move me. I look at you. You don't know. You don't know what is ahead of you if you don't know Christ. There is a need for you to really examine your life this morning. Are you selfish? If you check the gospel we are talking about, Christ himself was not selfish. If Christ was selfish, Christ could have not gave us his own life. Man, the world, even God himself, who, gave, who, 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 who God himself, who gave us his only begotten son, he was not selfish. The Bible told us that God was happy of killing Jesus Christ for your sake and for my sake. Do you see the love? But which love do we have today? Which love do we have today? Nigeria. The problem in Nigeria, I have not heard, God help me. I, God help me when we not reach radio station. We are talking to reach radio station, to reach television radio. I will tell my fellow Christians, they are the cause of the problem. 
in Nigeria, if government fail, Christians should rise up and begin to do the thing because God has blessed many Christians in that country. They should use, they should turn away from their own selfish interest if they will enter heaven. If they will enter heaven, pastors, evangelists, bishop, overseer, the Christians, and the name you are, you are carrying is immaterial. After this word, we will not go and really face the real judgment. I pray God will help all of us in Jesus' name. Friends, Good Morning Jesus Family Foundation is a different program, a program of revelation, knowledge, a program that will prepare you. If you go to hell, you blame yourself. Do you hear what I said? If you don't know the person you are following, go and pray, Lord, who is this person? Is he really, is he really your child or not? Go and pray. Oh Lord, this person that is talking to us every day by day, the, this person does he have the does he have the sense of this world? Is he after the material thing or not? Go and pray. When you pray, God will reveal to you the person that is talking to you every day by day. You have heard it. It is uh, all depends of you. Whether you will go to heaven or you will go to hell. I told her, our sister that had a revelation. I said, sister, your revelation, if you didn't live according to your revelation, only that revelation alone will judge you on the last day. That if as if or as on that day, you didn't make your decision to say, Lord, you have showed me. Do you know that many people, many people want to see what you saw that day? That today they couldn't see it anymore. They have passed away. And many people did not have second chance to come back to life. Do you know that thing eh, can make somebody jump up when, for balcony and die? Because I know what I saw in year 2013 on the 4th of February. When I returned back to this world, I almost jumped for testory building. I almost, if not my sister that came to grab me, to hold me, I could have jumped that day. Because I didn't believe we are still on this world. Let's go to the Bible. Okay. The message said, rejoice because your name are written in, the, in heaven. In the book of um, Luke chapter 10, where we take our Bible reading of yesterday. Luke chapter 10, we read from verse 17 to 20. Luke chapter 10. Are we there? The, the 17 returns again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devil has suggested unto us to believe. And he said unto them, And yet Satan has a lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to turn on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your name has written in heaven. You can say, God bless you. You can say that, that today many pastors, they are rejoicing because they cast out demon. They are rejoicing because they are doing wonder. They are rejoicing because, yes, power has come down. They are rejoicing right now. They can speak to the devil. The devil will obey them. Abi, and then many Christians, and that is where many Christians want to go. But Jesus Christ, do you know that this knowledge came upon the apostles? And then the apostles, they was they 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 they, they, they exalt themselves. Yes, right now we have the power. We have the power. Jesus said, No, my children, don't rejoice because you have cast out demons. Don't rejoice because you are a professor. Don't rejoice because the devil obeys you. 
Don't rejoice because of uh, all those things. Friends, but is that not what is happening today in the churches? Eh? That is why that is what is making pastors' head to be big today. Eh? That is what is making Christians, Christians to be big today. Hey, that man of God, that man of God, that man of God, that man of God, that man of God. But these people, they are not what they are, their names are not in the book of life. Do you know a pastor who is committing immorality can cast out demon? Mm -hmm. Do you know that many pastors today they are operate, they have anointing of sin to tell people what you are doing is nothing, and people are getting miracles, friend. But look at it, he said, notwithstanding, in this, in this, rejoice not, none that the spirit are subject unto you, the spirit of the devil, not because of that spirit is subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are writ are written in the in heaven friend you have everything you need in life you see that they have cast out they tell you right now family liberation we we come to you and pray and that everything is going well you are happy all those things are secondary markets what is should what should be your priority your priority is that you rejoice because your names are in, in the book of life. Rejoice that you're, you are a candidate of heaven. Rejoice that you are a citizen of heaven. Rejoice that the one day, one day, I will meet Jesus. I say, Jesus, do you know how much I love you? Hey, God, how glorious it will be to be on that day. How glorious it will be on that day. On that day that I will meet Jesus, I will hold him. Jesus, do you know how much I love you? But somebody can cast that demon, but the person didn't meet Jesus. Somebody can have miracles that the person didn't meet Jesus. Somebody can have the worth of this world, the person didn't meet Jesus. How foolish it will be. How terrible and how disastrous it will be on that day. That after, do you know that there are some people that slept last night? Not everybody that wake up this morning. Mm -hmm. What about paravention tomorrow? It may be this is the last message, but Lomi is going to preach. Anything can happen to Bartholomew at any time. God can call Bartholomew at any time. Friend, but how is it going to be? That is a question. You have opportunity today. To serve God. Tomorrow, you don't know what is going to happen. Today is your day. Do you understand that? You can make your decision that today, you know that your name is not written in the book of life. Maybe your wickedness. Maybe your selfish interest. Maybe you have a, there is a flesh in you that you have not dealt with. Because of that, your name is not written in the book of life. You can make a U-turn today. Say, no, I changed my life. I change my decision today. Many people have been deceived today by, by so-called men of God. All those are men of the devil, not men of God. Devil have deceived them. Devil have branded their eyes. That now, what they are focused, miracle. Any in Nigeria, you will see people, oh my friend, I want to preach in Nigeria. I want to hold a crusade that will shake that country. You will see. I want, when we now finish the building, Therefore, we will not begin to invest billions on crusade. Friend, you think that this program is a jockey program. It's a program God has raised. I told you God is interested of people who lost the, who lost the memory of this world, who really understand what is ahead of us that we don't have time. We don't have time. There is no time that I must save. I am a, I am in the Maya of this time. That saw that uh, Jerusalem has been broken. Do you know Christianity today has been broken to pieces? Eh? Christianity has been jeopardized with. The God is looking for people that will reformat what has been broken. The Christianity has carried virus. But who is ready? Self, self, self center today all over the world. People have confused. But I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's let's read. Christ 
We want the disciple that they must not make power or, or, or uh, make power over demon sources. They should not or a ministry. The primary so source of their joy, the primary source of their joy that they are rejoicing must be must come for the fact that they are redeemed from sin and what and their name is not in the book of life in matthew chapter 7 verse 20 22 to 23 in matthew in matthew let's read matthew chapter 7 let's hear what the lord told us there matthew matthew chapter 7 we read the 20 we read the 22 to 23 Pray to you in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not professed in the name? Yes, and in the name, I cast out devils, mm. and in the name, don't don many wonderful works. Yes, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, you that work out iniquity. You can see that God bless you. You can see what is going to happen. Eh? Mm -hmm. This is how it's going to be. Many Christians, many pastors will say, Lord, I was a member of that church where they preach miracle. He said, many will say unto me in that day, which is the D-Day, Lord, Lord, we have, we have not, have we not, have we not prophesied eh, in the name? And in the name, have we not, have we cast out devils? And what happened? And in the name, don't many wonders works. Many wonders work. Wonders work. He, the sick, raising the dead. Today you can see some pastors, they are telling you they have a heaven, heaven telephone, that they will ring heaven, heaven will hear them. Eh? That is what is happening today. And many people are following them. There are somebody in America giving the people the mark of the beast. There are some person in Af uh, South Africa telling people go and eat grass and multitude are following them. Eh? All these things will happen. Friend, but look at it. They, all these are wonderful works. That people right now will tell you right now, I know your problem. Yes, it's true. They know the person's problem. Right now, they will give you something. You are here. All these are wonderful miracles. But what happened? In verse 23, he said, And then will I perform unto them. I never know you. Depart from me, ye that, ye that walk iniquity. Friend, when you hear that word, depart, eh? the breeze, Eh? The breeze that will fly that person, you know, you know, flight and eh? jet, jet does not have speed. The breeze that will speed that person to her. Eh? But some people will tell you, I will question Jesus. Where will you have that time to question the, the source of your life? By the moment you hear that word, depart, my friend, you are gone instantly. The breeze eh? that will take you eh? to her street. Your eyes will need on that time. You have opportunity to serve God, but you never make use of it. There is a need of making a decision. I pray that the Lord of heaven will help us that no pastor will de uh, deceive us in this particular time. Let's read. Let's read in the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 8. Revelation 13, 8. Let's read something there. Revelation 13, 8. And all, and all that dwell upon the earth shall watch the them, whose names are not written in the book of life, of the land slain from the foundation of the world. You can see that. After the saint has been taken away, all those that, remain, that their name are not written in the book of life, they will worship the Satan. Friend, can you face that? Eh? That is the great tribulation that we are talking about. The people who their names was not written in the book of life, they will not really face the Sita, their father. But I pray it will not be so to you. In Revelation, again, we move forward to see. I want to show you some scripture before we, before we conclude the message. In Revelation chapter 20, verse, verse 12. In Revelation chapter 20, Verse 12. Let there be no noise. Let there be no noise, please. Yes. And I saw and I saw the dead small and brief. Yes. 
stand before God and the books were open and another book were open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Go ahead, go ahead. And the, and the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell deliver up the dead which were in them. And there were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second day. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Yes, God bless you. Do you see what is going to happen? Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, it's a very serious matter. It's, this is not a joking matter. This is no meat and drink. It's a very, very serious matter more than any other matter you can discuss in this world. That where will I go and spend my eternal life? He said, and I saw the dead, small and white and great, white and black, rich and poor, standing, pastor or no pastor, bishop or no bishop, a pope or no pope, standing before who? Before God. <laughs> Whether all this name is only on this earth, when we cross over, there is no title anymore. And a Satan will even torment that person who have opportunity to be a Christian, to be in a place of truth, and the person didn't make use of the opportunity. And Satan will torment that person more than any other person. Friend, you that cast out demon and you want you want you want to you you know many people will be banded. I banned you Satan, I banned you Satan, and now. The Satan you have been banned be insulting. And now, the Satan will not take hold of the person. Eh? He will not take, if you, are, if you are in a position that you find your enemy in your door, the, the, your enemy, the person that has been fighting against you, and now the person that comes inside your house. Friend, how <laughs> are you going to deal with that person? Uh -huh. eh? You not think and run for your dear life in philippians let's read first in philippians chapter 4 verse 3 philippians chapter 4 verse 3 though, though i though i may i might also have confidence in the flesh philippians chapter 4 3 okay and i and i entreat thee and I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, every women which labor with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers, whose name are in the book of life. Do you see that? Whose name they are in the book of life. Talking about God want all every member of Good Morning Just Family Foundation to be in the book of life. Amen. God wants us to repent. That is why he's bringing all this information to us. Well, let's read in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 23. Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 23. Hebrews 12, 23. Nobody is there? To the great to the, to the, to the general assembly, is there, sir? Yes, somebody was reading. Let the other person read. To the general assembly. Sister promise, go ahead. If the person is not there. To the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to the spirit of just men made perfect. You can see that. Friend, we should not joke with the Bible to the general assembly, mark the word, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn. The church, do you know that the church are the firstborn of Christ? Eh? Church is the firstborn. The church of the saint is the firstborn of Christ. Oh, yeah. Friend, Jesus Christ is talking to all the general assembly of in all the churches, all the churches, which are what, which are written in heaven, the only people who are in church, their name are written in heaven. 
people who have turned away from sin, people that have decided to love righteousness and hate iniquity, people that have said, Lord, I have made my decision whether I can read, can shine, I want to serve you. He said, for, uh, and to God, the, chief, uh, the judge of all, he is the judge of all, and to the spirit of just, just man, ma, just man, men made perfect. There is a name of per perfection. There is a need for you to reach the level of perfection. Before Apostle Paul, before Apostle James, all these apostles, before they could walk, they reach the level of perfection. When you, when you reach that level, you will lose the sense of this world. You will not have any interest of this world. You know that you, you enter this world with nakedness, you are leaving this world with nakedness. Friend, how is it going to be possible? You are in position, eh? You are in position. God is in need to use the resources he has given to us. And now you will not tell him, no, Lord, today, today this one will not work. You fold your hand like this. You go and stand in one place and say, no, it will not work today. Lord, you can't use my mouth to work today. Lord, you can't use my leg today. Lord, you can't use anything about me. How is it possible? There is a need of losing the sense of this world. Without losing the sense of this world, you can't carry the brain of this world to heaven. Apostle Paul, Apostle James, Apostle Stephen, Apostle Peter, all the apostles, they follow the full step of who? Of their master. But today, the church of this, uh, the church of this 21st century are not following their own religion, not according to the standard of God. Now we look, we look forward to see in the book of Daniel, Chapter 12, verse 1. Daniel, chapter 12. I'm showing you things you need to know. Daniel, chapter 12. And then we are running. We are going forward. We reach some place. Now we're not close. Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. And at, the, and at that time, shall Michael stand up, and the great prince will stand it for the children of the people, and their trouble. And there shall be. And there shall be a time of trouble. Yes. Such as never was since there when a nation, even to the same time, and at the time that people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found. Yes, I will, I will, I will come back to teach, to talk about a, a time of trouble, of which, of which we are today in the world, a perilous time. A time of trouble, we are going to talk about that. Now, nah, but the Lord is ready to stand for as many those that say, Lord, I follow you because their names are in the book of life. Such people, the Lord will not leave them alone. The Lord will fight for them. The Lord will protect them. The Lord will defend them. Friend, Amen. when I had a terrible accident in Nigeria two months ago, are you the one that delivered me? No. Were you there? Eh? No. But the Lord no. was there by my side. <laughs> Friend, that is it. But there are troubles. People have been having such an accident, they die. But the, that day, the Lord said, no, this man, my child, you will not die. Mm -hmm. Friend, in the time of trouble, the Lord will always be there for you. Why? Because your, your name is not in the book of, of war, the book of life. When your name are in the book of life, the Lord gives you security. You are not afraid. You go to anywhere, people are telling you they are running. You are not running. The Lord will tell you, my son, don't run. I am with you. <laughs> Why? Because your name is written in heaven. I pray that all of you all, that your name will not be taken away in heaven, in Jesus' name. We, we, let's read uh, Isaiah. We read about a uh, three place. Now we close. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 3. Let's read there. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 3. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy. Even everyone that is written among the living in Jerusalem. Mark the word, and it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion, you know, in, in Zion is Zion, Zion is a place of God. 
That is why we used to sing that song. In my Zion, there is holiness. In my Zion, there is righteousness. In my Zion, the Lord will prove himself. Jehovah is the Zion we are talking about. Jehovah, Amen. Jesus Christ is a Zion. Is a yes. Zion. Friend, in him there is holiness. Those are left behind. And what? Those people. Those people that have decided to follow Jesus. And he that remained in Jerusalem. You know Jerusalem, a holy city. The, and the new, gen, the new Jerusalem is coming. Shall what? Shall be called holy. Even everyone that is what? That is written among the living in Jerusalem. Friend, you check your life. Maybe your garment today has been stained. But the Lord wants you to make amendment. We read in the book of Psalm. Psalm two, uh, 60, 69. Psalm 69. Please let that be no noise. We are rounding up. Psalm 69. Let's read verse 28. Psalm, 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 Psalm 69. We read the 28. Let them be blotted out of the book. Who is reading? Please read louder. We are not hearing you. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living. And not be written with the righteous. You can see that. Who are these people? The people who claim they are in church. People that didn't know God. Their name and the name of those that are live holy life cannot be written together. Friend, because of that, do not imitate anybody. I told you time ago, I said it's a personal decision if you will go to heaven. It's not a business that husband and wife, let's come together and make an agreement. No. There is no agreement about that. He said, let them be brought out of the book of the living. Which book is that? The book of heaven. And not be written, not be written with what? With the righteous. It's not possible for God to write the name of the unrighteous people with righteous. It's not possible. When we not depart away from this world, we will not really know who served God and who did not serve God. Who was those, the people that was practicing religions will not go to heaven. The people that the people that insult God, that rejected God, you will not see. My brothers, you must do away with all these worldly things you are putting on your body. If you must go to heaven, you must be holy. If your name must be in the book of life, you must repent afresh. There is a need of making you turn. If you are a woman or a man having a boyfriend, there is a need of saying, boyfriend, I love you. You know what we was doing before. But now, the message has come to me. Right now, I need to love Jesus. Friend, that is what I did time ago. And it helped me so much. Making a right decision in the right time that the message come to me. When I make that decision to say, girlfriend, I am very sorry. You know how much I love you before. But that love right now, another person, another person is taking over. I have no option to give to that person because he's the owner of my life. I've come to understand that I'll be, I'll, I'll be so wicked to that person who has given me life. Friend, she was thinking it's a joking matter. When she saw that Bartholomew, she said, Bartholomew, you have another girlfriend. You just need to tell me the truth. I said, yes, the only girlfriend I have now is Jesus. Friend, what a wonderful what a wonderful to have Jesus as your husband, as your wife. What a wonderful. I pray that the Lord of Abraham will bless all of you in Jesus' name. Finally, Amen. finally we read Exodus 32. Exodus 32. Exodus 32, 32. Exodus 32, 32. Let's see something there. What Moses told the Lord. Are we there? Yes, now, yes, if thou will forgive thy sin, and if not, tell me, I pray thee, out of the book which thou hast written. Do you see that? For you to know Old Testament, right from Old Testament, the book of life has been existing. And Moses, you can see the compassion, you can see the love. That Moses was having for, for his people. This is a person. This is a person who repented. This is a true Christian. Having the great passion of his people. Telling the Lord. Lord if you did not forgive them. Lord let my name be taken away from that book. Friend. 
What a great love. What a compassion. This is the heart. If you check the life of Moses and check the life of all the apostles and check the life of Christ, you see that all of them follow the same line. Friend, is that not true? Is that not true? Eh? You see the suffer, Moses suffer for his people. Eh? My brothers and sisters, you need to understand that there is nothing you should pursue in this world that your name be in the book of life. That is the greatest. Me I'm going to preach a, me a message that say miracle that is greater than miracle. If you want miracle, I will give you, I will, I will help you to understand the miracle you should pursue as your age now, as you are still alive. Everybody is anybody that don't have telephone here? Anybody that don't have telephone? No, no. Everybody have tele have telephone. You know that uh, Mr. Dead cannot call you, my friend. The next uh, two hours, I will visit you. Eh? Am I right? Can Mr. Dead call you? No. Mr. Dead cannot text you a message, my friend. Your time has expired. You need to prepare your luggage. He cannot. If you receive that message, you will be running. And he cannot do that. <laughs> <laughs> you will just see him or no. I, my name is Mr. Dead. Now get yourself ready. The next two hours I'm visiting you. <laughs> that person will begin to call the whole pastor in the world. <laughs> Friend, it's a serious matter. We don't know when the trumpet will sound. We don't know when Mr. Dead will call. Because of that, you not check your life. Did my name really, if your name is a book of life, there is a prayer I prayed a few days ago. I was asking the Lord questions. Do you know the question I was asking the Lord? Eh? Lord, please show me if I am still on the track. Lord, show me if I have deviated away. Lord, show me. But I got in that, after that prayer that night, the Lord opened my eyes to see my son. You are still on the track. Continue. When I wake up, my heart was full, filled up with joy. My brothers and sisters, let's think what are we enjoy in this wicked world? What are we enjoy? Why are we killing ourselves? Why are we envy each other? Why are we hating each other? Why? Why can't we have this agape love? Love. Why are, why are we so selfish? Why are we so wicked? Friend, there is a need of turning back in holiness so that our name can be taken away from the book of death and our name will be in the book of life. This morning, I want you to bow down your head and look into your life. Why are you, what are you worried for? You are worried for the things that does not, that do, that, that does not have anything, any value to your spirit, to your life. Friend, I, 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 I understand you because you are still in the flesh. If you are not in the flesh, you begin to see the emptiness of this world. Even though news come, you say news. I know that uh, this news is from the pit of hell. News, you must get out away from it. I close my Bible. I want you to look into your life. Rejoice. Mark the, remember the message. Rejoice because your name are written in heaven. Amen. Not because of a miracle. Rejoice because you are, you are a candidate of heaven. Bow down your head and talk to God. Tell the Lord, but tell the Lord to help you for your name to be in the book of life. There is a something you must do. What is that? You must make your decision. You must make a decision to say, Lord, I have made up my mind. Make up my mind. Tell the Lord to help you. Eternal Father, we want to thank you this morning by opening our eyes again in a, another in a different form. Lord, to understand that the great joy we should have is that our names are written in the book of life. Eternal Father, I pray, Father, you will help me that lord my name will be in the book of life that they help me 
that my name, O Lord, my Father, will not be taken away. Lord, I have my heart desire is to continue this journey, to continue righteous, to continue in sanctification, to continue standing, to continue, O Lord, my Father, in purity. Father, to love just as you love. I want to care just as you care. Father, help me. Lord, I need your happy heart. That at the end, my Father, glory and honor be unto you. That is, I pray for as many of your children that have, have the privilege to receive this message. I pray, Father, change their heart. No one can draw them except you draw. Father, go ahead and draw all your children, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that this message will not stand against us. Father, all the dream we have had last night, Father, only you know the interpretation. I pray, Father, that those dreams you will take over, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Please endeavor to share the message before you sign out. The grace, remember what I said. Please let this information be on the WhatsApp group that we don't have program this evening. The next program is 12 midnight, praise and worship night. Please. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship on the Holy Spirit, bless and bide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely may His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our life is seated in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our life will be saved and secure in the name of Jesus. Our life is seated in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our going out, our coming in, every activities of today that be saved and secure in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of uh, Micah chapter 7 verse 7 and 8, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me in the name of Jesus. In Galatians chapter 5, uh, chapter 6, verse 17. For henceforth, let no man trouble good morning Jesus family foundation, for we bear in our body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, I pray that no man or woman will be able to trouble you in Jesus' name. God bless yes, you and have a blessed and wonderful day. Yes,